As a longtime Autodesk Certified Professional, I'd like to share some of the tips for taking the Autodesk Certified Professional exam. I've taken the exam and mentored others taking the exam many times over the years. Through that experience, here are a few things that I would like to recommend that make the process much easier and I'd like to share them with you. Step 1. Know what you need to know. Knowing what the Autodesk Certified Exam is going to cover is essential when preparing for the exam. Autodesk publishes exam objectives for each certification exam offering, so you can have insight on the topics covered in the exam and minimum candidate qualifications. Use this information as your study guide to make sure you understand each skill and sub-skills included on the list. Step 2. Focus and Practice when preparing for any exam, the tendency is to try to learn everything, and you can easily find yourself overwhelmed. When preparing for the Autodesk Certified Professional exam, study only the topics mentioned in the exam objectives. Don't distract yourself by trying to learn everything. Get some practice. This course can help. The course instruction aligns specifically to the exam objectives. Whether you are refreshing your knowledge or learning skills for the first time, this course will help you successfully prepare for the exam. Don't take any shortcuts. Complete the practice exercises and the challenge assignments and then take the end of course exam once and then a second time. Step 3. Develop a test taking strategy. Don't take the test without a strategy and have some understanding of what to expect when taking the exam. Here's some background on the Autodesk Certified Professional exams. The exams include a series of selected response question types for completion in a 120-minute testing time limit. The exam questions are a mix of multiple choice, multiple select. This question type lets you select one or more correct answers from a list of provided answers. Active Screen. This question type prompts you to select the correct options from a dialog box. Build List. This question type tests your knowledge of a sequence of actions. There is always a correct order. A Build List question typically includes four or five steps. Drag and Drop. Matching. This question type includes a list of options on the left and target areas on the right. For example, you might be asked to drag labels to a part of a photograph that illustrates a design concept. This question type can instruct you to match the terms to definitions or examples. You can also use this question type to match specific tools to examples of how the tools are used. In the answer area, the options are on the left and target areas are on the right. Graphic Interpretation this question type presents an exhibit, embedded graphic, or code block, and asks a series of multiple choice questions about it. Hot area. This question type allows you to answer the questions by selecting one or more areas of an image. Input number or text. This question type asks you to enter a number or text in the answer area. Statement analysis. This question type presents a situation or exhibit and asks a series of true-false or yes-no questions. Typically, there are three to four answer statements included in this question type. Step 4. Manage your time. One of the most important tips when taking a time test is knowing how much time you have to answer each question and deciding to tackle easy questions first. When you start an exam, you will be given the total number of questions and the amount of time available. Do a quick calculation to figure out how much time you have per question. Keep this in mind and use it as a guide when answering questions. It's recommended to answer the easy questions first and then move on. As a test taker, know what each question is asking and evaluate each answer option. Being careless or reading through the questions quickly nearly always results in an incorrect answer. You have the option to mark questions and revisit them at a later time during the exam test period. 
A time marker is visible during the testing period to help keep time. It's okay to not know or be unsure of an answer. It happens. Try not to get flustered. Eliminate any clearly wrong answers to narrow down your option and then pick the answers you think best. Mark the question so you can review it later and move along. Once you have gone through all the exam questions, go back and review answers to your marked questions. Don't hesitate on changing answers. Contrary to popular belief, your first instinct might not always be correct. Oh yes, don't forget to breathe. Step 5. Remediation If you pass the first time, congratulations! If you don't pass the exam the first time, take the steps to review the topics areas that you fell short on and revisit the exam objectives. With additional practice, you'll be more prepared the second time. I wish you the best of luck and I hope you enjoy the rest of the course as you review all of the objectives that you'll be tested on. Good luck!